and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another episode of my pre-loved series and this one is going to be all about how to thoroughly clean and restore your pre-loved bag. As you saw in my previous episode, I did an unboxing of this Cabas Piano pre-loved bag which I purchased from the Louis Vuitton Addicted Facebook group. So today I'm going to be showing you how I get this bag ready to wear by thoroughly cleaning it and then restoring it. First off, I'm going to show you the items that I need to clean it all up. First, I'm going to walk you through all of the individual items that I need to clean this bag, and I'm going to start from first to last. So first off, I am going to use non-alcoholic baby wipes to give the interior as well as the exterior a thorough cleaning. These are non-alcoholic, so they don't dry up the bag in any way. Now for the interior, I'm also going to use a lint roller. Now I'm going to make sure I have a nice new sticky on here, and then just roll it around thoroughly on the inside of the bag just to pick up any loose dirt, hair, anything else that could be stuck to the inside. If I still have some left, then I will just use a little vacuum or a little handheld vacuum just to get down inside the bag. And then moving on to the exterior, I have a couple of different devices I like to use to put the products on the bag to really work them in and scrub the bag. So I have some q-tips here, I have some cotton rounds, some cotton balls, and I got a whole bag of each of these because you never know how many you're going to need to go through. I also got a microfiber cloth. This one I made sure was color fast so it's not going to transfer any color onto the bag, but if you are worried about it or if you do have a light colored bag, make sure that you get a white microfiber cloth. And then I also have just a regular rag. This one actually came with a leather cleaner kit but make sure that you don't start with these because these are a lot more abrasive and so you don't want to damage the bag. First off start with a cotton ball, move up to the microfiber rag and then finally you can try this one if the other ones aren't working for you. As far as products I use on the bag, the ones that have been thoroughly vetted and make sure that they are safe for Louis Vuitton quality items. The first product I like to use on the bag is going to be Brasso. This is going to clean off any brass items of the bag. So your zipper pulls, your zippers, your D-rings, studs, rivets, even the lock and key. This thing works wonders and will get any uh, dirt and grime off of those zippers that will turn them from green to a nice shiny brass color. Next up I picked up this leather cleaning kit. So this is from Apple brand. This has a leather cleaner and a leather conditioner that work together. So I will first clean the whole bag and then immediately condition it with the leather conditioner. I also picked up a second leather conditioner. This one is by the brand Cadillac. I like to run this over the bag after I have cleaned everything, condition it once with the Apple brand. I'll go over it a second time with the Cadillac conditioner as well. If the Apple brand leather cleaner just isn't working for me and I'm not seeing the results that I need, I will bump it up and use some of the Kiwi Saddle Soap. What this is, is a waxy material. So you just take a little bit of purified water, you get your rag barely damp, you run it around inside here and then you can work on the problem areas of the bag. I wouldn't recommend going straight to the Kiwi Saddle Soap to get everything out because it, it's possible that it will leave some larger water stains. But if you do have a difficult area that is just full of really thick black dirt and grime, then I would recommend that if you tried everything else and nothing else is working for you. And then finally, on a strictly case-by-case -case basis, since I do have that big white paint mark on the bottom, I am going to be needing to use some nail polish remover. This has acetone in it, which is really gonna help break down the molecules inside the paint to be able to easily wipe it off. So I'm just using a little tiny, tiny bit of this to make sure that I can really get in there and break it off. So that way I'm not having to use some abrasive manner of scrubbing and getting the vachetta off along with it because that could end up damaging the vachetta. So I'm just gonna let the chemical reaction work its wonders and see where it goes from there. Starting off on the inside, this particular bag doesn't have any staining, but there is a little bit of dirt and dust in there just from normal wear. So we're gonna start off by getting rid of that. So the first thing that I like to do is taking a lint roller and then cleaning up the inside here and getting all of the little pieces of dirt and grime out that I can. And then once I have all of those out, I will actually take a vacuum. I have a handheld vacuum here and I just vacuum out the other pieces inside. Next, after I get the loose pieces out, I am gonna go in with a baby wipe. This is an alcohol-free baby wipe and I'm just gonna wipe it down here and this will get rid of any additional dirt and grime that might be stuck in the bag. Okay. 
And then finally, just to make sure that there are no lingering smells or anything like that, I am just gonna take a dryer sheet, stick that in the back here, and then zip it up. And that is gonna make sure the inside is nice and fresh once I'm ready to start carrying it. Now we're gonna move on to the outside. So on this particular bag, there are the two Vachetta straps. There is the brass zipper. Uh, these little handles are actually just metal. They're not brass. On some of the Louis Vuitton items, you're gonna have rivets around the side, which would also need to be cleaned because they are brass, but these particular ones are not brass. So they are in really good condition. So I'm actually not gonna touch these. I am just gonna focus on the zipper here as far as the brass items go. And then on the bottom here, it is a full Vachetta bottom. So we're gonna thoroughly clean that as well here. Starting off with the zipper, I am gonna take some Brasso as well as a Q-tip here. And then just in case I need it, I have just a cotton round and then a regular cotton ball. So I am gonna put that on the Q-tip. And then just rub it right here on the zipper. And once I get that clean, the Q-tip is actually gonna turn green because it has taken off some of that dirt and grime. Now once I have the zipper pull nice and clean as well as the zipper teeth and then this little piece on the end, if I were to have any other brass studs, I would clean those at this point as well. And then just to make sure that the zipper is opening and closing nice and smoothly, I am gonna take some wax paper and run it right along the zipper here. And then now that is opening and closing nice and buttery smooth. Now what I like to do with the outside once I'm all done with the inside is wipe the entire bag down with a baby wipe. Again, these are non-alcoholic baby wipes so they won't dry anything out, but I like to give it a good thorough scrub all around the outside. These are non-abrasive so they're not gonna hurt anything, but they are gonna do a really good job at getting all of the dirt off. I'm gonna go through all of the handles as well as the canvas all around the exterior. Uh, make sure if you are doing this, you're gonna get in all of the little cracks because dirt likes to hide in all these little crevices as well as around all of those little handles here. So that's gonna get all the excess dirt off and show me what is left to clean with the leather cleaner. So next, I am gonna work on the Vachetta. Now to clean the Vachetta, it's really tricky. So the first thing you wanna look at is to make sure that the Vachetta is in good condition and that it can be cleaned. So what you're looking for is a nice sheen. If it is all dried out, you're gonna to wanna to condition it first, wait a couple of days until it has thoroughly soaked up more of that moisture so it can be cleaned at that point because if it is all dried out too much, then it's actually just gonna crack if you try to clean it from there. So if it does have a nice sheen on it, you are okay to clean it and make sure that you already have some conditioner on hand for when you are ready to clean it because you're gonna to wanna to put that conditioner on immediately when you're done cleaning it. If you wait even a day, the cleaning process could dry it out and crack it and then you really won't even be able to use your bag. So make sure that you have plenty of conditioner. That is the most important point. I cannot stress enough. So the items that I use to clean my bag are going to be these items here. So I have some leather cleaner and then leather conditioner. These are both by Apple. Um, it's Apple brand products. And then I also purchased another conditioner, which is by Cadillac. So what my process is, I will go through, I will clean everything up with the, the Apple leather cleaner, and then immediately after I'm gonna condition it. So I will clean up one strap, and then I will condition that, clean up another strap, condition that, clean up the bottom, condition that, and then I'll go back with the Cadillac conditioner and just condition everything one more time. You can't really condition the back too much unless you're just drenching it over and over again. Uh, but if you just condition it a couple times, it's not gonna hurt it. It's gonna make sure that it's gonna stay nice and protected from any dryness. Now when you're cleaning your Vachetta, you're gonna wanna start with the lowest abrasive product and then move up and up from there if that is not working because you don't wanna damage any of the leather. So that's why I start with the leather cleaner and then I'm gonna start by putting that just on a cotton ball or a cotton round. I'm gonna work that into it. If I don't see any results, 
I might move up to a microfiber cloth. These ones are a lot softer than your normal dish cloths and I'm gonna work that into a spot. If that's not coming through, then this is actually the cloth that came with the cleaner and the conditioner pack. It's a little bit more abrasive and rough so I'm gonna work that a little bit. Now when I am rubbing that into an area, I'm not gonna be working on that one spot any more than 15 seconds. I'll work on it for 15 seconds. If I can't get it out, then I will just work on that another day. I will clean it up for 15 seconds, put some conditioner on it, let it sit, and kind of reabsorb the conditioner to make sure that it doesn't dry out. If I can't get it out from there even, then I'll move up to another product. So that is gonna be the Saddle Soak. This is by Kiwi Brand. This is gonna be a little bit more intense with cleaning. So if I did have any dark or dirty black spots from grime or dirt, I would just put that on and really work that in. Again, I would start with the lowest abrasive application. So either a cotton ball or a cotton round, work that in, move up to a microfiber cloth. And you wanna make sure that you're using either a light color or white just so there's no color transfer. I have had these for a while and I've only used them for cleaning. I've washed them thoroughly so they're not gonna bleed any red dye on the bag. So they're okay to use. But if you were to buy a brand new one, make sure that it is color fast and color safe so that way it doesn't transfer any of that color from the rag onto your vachetta. From there, if I can't get it off with a microfiber still, then I will move up to a more abrasive cloth. Now, I've never used a magic eraser on a bag. I haven't had the need to because the bags I purchase are still in somewhat decent condition. But if you were to use a magic eraser, I would use that as an absolute last resort. Work on a spot for only maybe 10 seconds because it is extremely abrasive. You're gonna actually wear away the nice sheen and the top coat of leather. So work on it for 10 seconds if like say the handles were thick black. Uh, work on it, condition it, and then the next day work on it, condition it, condition it, condition it, because that is what is going to protect it if you are working through the top layer. So just be really careful if you happen to use a magic eraser, and like I said, only use that as an absolute last resort. So if you look on the bottom of this bag here, there is a big old white spot, and I believe that is paint. So I am gonna start with the cleaner here with a little cotton swab and work on that area here. And then that white spot is not moving at all. So that's where I would move up to the microfiber cloth. And then I'm thinking that the saddle soap is not really gonna help much getting this white spot out. So since I know that it's paint, I am actually going to try some acetone. So that is gonna be some of the nail polish remover with acetone, that's what I happen to have on hand. You can also use turpentine or if you just have a bucket of acetone, you can do that as well. So I am gonna use just the smallest, teeniest, tiniest amount on the end of a Q-tip that I am gonna let the acetone do the trick here. I am not gonna use any abrasion or rubbing. I'm just gonna let the chemical work its magic here and try to get this off. And I'm making sure that I'm only putting it on this one spot, I'm not putting it all over the bottom of the bag because sometimes it can stain, but I definitely think that a slightly darker stain of Vachetta would look way better than a big old white spot. So. That's why I am okay trying this. If it was on the top of the bag or on a handle, I might be a little bit more weary, but since nothing else is working on getting this white stain out, I'm just gonna keep working with this here and see if I can do it. And again, I'm not using any abrasion. I am just letting the chemical itself do its thing. And then I am really going to condition it when I'm done. And I'm not putting gobs and gobs of the chemical in it either. I'm gonna call it a chemical because that's what we're using it for right now. Even though it's just a simple nail polish remover, I'm just gonna keep wiping that on the spot and it is really coming off. There's just a little bit of white left here. So cleaning the bag really does take time. 
when you do sit down to clean the bag, give yourself a couple of hours because you do want to make sure that you thoroughly clean it and you don't want to end up damaging the bag in any way, which you may do if you rush through it. So just make sure that you have plenty of time to devote to cleaning it nice and thoroughly. All right, so this is what that white spot looks like now. So the white paint is completely gone and there is just a dark mark now left over. That's because that's still wet. So hopefully once it completely dries, then you won't be even be able to see that mark at all. It might be slightly darker than some of the other areas, but it won't be nearly as bad as a big old white paint mark on the bottom. So now I am just going to apply leather conditioner all over the bottom here, all over the straps, just to make sure that it does stay nice and soft and supple. And that is where I'm gonna come in with the Cadillac conditioner. And I'm just gonna throw that on a cotton ball here. So just do a little gob, just like that. And I'm gonna start right there where the spot is and kind of just smooth it around. This bag is a little bit more unique because there is so much vachetta. So this one would be similar to an Alma where the whole bottom is the leather vachetta. And so you really have to take care of those and spend a little bit more time cleaning those. The canvas really doesn't take that long to clean. It's more of the vachetta and the leather areas. And I would suggest doing the thorough cleaning only on a bag that has a really nice patina. If you were to buy a bag that still has white or newer vachetta, you probably wouldn't want to clean it as much because then it's going to really darken and start possibly staining that vachetta. So I would focus on the older bags here. So that one now has a nice sheen, the bottom is nice and conditioned, and then I'm going to do the strapped as well here. When I am doing the conditioner, I really like to focus around the loops because these are the areas that are prone to cracking more. And so you wanna make sure that these are thoroughly conditioned. And I'm gonna do the front side and the back side on both of them here. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other side. All right, there we go, all done. So the whole bag, as far as the vachetta is concerned, is all cleaned and conditioned. So now we are just gonna wait for it to dry and then it should be ready to go to be carried. And these are the results of the freshly cleaned and fully restored bag. So I am super excited to start wearing this now. It is nice and clean. It's conditioned, so it's nice and smooth and it smells amazing. And the spot on the bottom pretty much completely came off. There's no big white mark on the bottom anymore that's gonna be a super eyesore. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up if you wanna see more like it. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button just to make sure that you are notified whenever I make new videos. And if you do have any questions on this bag or any other pre-loved item, just leave me a comment down below. And until next time, thanks for stopping by.